one brother Roop here. We are in the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 6. Paul, Barnabas, Mark, and Luke are, are canvassing the area, preaching at the synagogues and preaching to everybody else and uh, having a great missionary journey. Uh, for my... Uh, from the materials I've read, uh, at the time, Cyprus was half Jewish. So, if that's the case, they had a lot of synagogues to preach at. And uh, so, it was a fertile ground, for at least for Paul, and uh, the rest of them, a fertile ground to preach about their Jewish Messiah. Amen. So, let's read the verse, verse 6, chapter 13, verse 6. And when they had gone through the aisle unto Pathos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar-Jesus. I'll read you the Aramaic. It's a little bit different. It says, uh, when they had traveled the whole island as far as the city of Pathos, they found a Jewish sorcerer who was a false prophet and whose name was bar -Shuma. Whose name was Barshuma. Now that's now these Syriac writers were offended that this guy named Bar Jesus was named Bar Jesus. <laughs> so it just means son of Jesus or son of Joshua. Uh, but you know, a lot of silly people will say that it's a son of the Jesus the Messiah, which was not the case. Jesus or Joshua was a very, very popular name back then, and uh, lots of people were named that. So, but still, the Syriac writers were troubled by this. Didn't like this evil false prophet being named the son of Jesus, so they changed his name, actually, to Bar Shuma, which means son of the name. Son of the name. Name of Jesus, I guess. So... <laughs> So the Aramaic changed that, changed, changed that. They probably shouldn't have done that. Whether they're offended or not, you know, that's probably a changing the word of God. is not, not, not a good idea for any reason because once you start, you know, where are you going to stop at? So, so, you know what I mean? So they gone through the whole island, it says, onto Pethos. Now, Pethos is on the western side of the island, whereas the Seleucia, where they came by ship to the port, largest port city on the island, they had to travel by land to Pethos, which was the capital city of Cyprus at the time. Today it's Nicosia, but uh, back then Nicosia didn't exist. Now it's Pethos was the capital. And uh, kind of interesting, they, uh, they wouldn't make Seleucia the capital since so is the port city. But uh, anyway, I'm not too sure what the Romans were doing back then. So. <laughs> anyway, Paphos was famous back in that day for being the birthplace of the Greek god Venus. I believe Venus was a Greek god. Maybe it was a Roman god. Anyway, it doesn't matter. An idol's an idol, so <laughs> regardless of what ethnic ethnicity it is. But anyway, there's a they had a big uh, temple there. It was a temple to Venus, and uh, they said rumor had it Venus was born in that town. But uh, just giving a little historical context here. That's nothing more. I I hear y'all complaining, but brother Bill, you're you're teaching idolatry. No, I'm not. So I'm just giving you some. Historical context, that's all. Don't don't um, don't get all worried there. So this guy we know it's a guy because it's bar being son. So he's a sorcerer or a magician. And he was also a false prophet and a Jew. So man, he's got all kinds of demons in him. So he's gonna they're gonna Paul is going to try to convert the Pope Council of uh, Cyprus, and uh, this false prophet, Jewish prophet, is going to come against him. So we're going to have a Jewish showdown in a Greek government facility. So that's, that's what we're going to have. 
So it's get, going to get interesting from this time on. So strap in your seatbelts. If you like the story, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, ring the bell. And uh, thanks for listening. And uh, we're going really going to get into it next couple of verses. Thank you.